And then you can already split just in case. And then later we have eggs. So right now we're just trying to. We got beef brisket today. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are doing a St. Augustine trip. And it is actually the last day of the trip that I'm filming this intro. So you're not gonna see me in this outfit for a couple of minutes. But anyway, we got here on the 16th and today is the 18th. If you're gonna go to St. Augustine soon, I have a bunch of things that we did to show you. And you should definitely do them because they were actually so much fun. And I did go to St. Augustine before last September, but that wasn't a vlog. I kind of just like put little clips in of when I was there, but this one is like a vlog. I'm showing you literally everything I did on this trip. So make sure you stay for the whole video and I'm so excited to show you so let's rewind back to March 16th so we just finished our drive to St. Augustine and now we stopped at Chicken Salad Chick because I've been craving it for the last month and we got a trio we're getting the kitchen tail in there's a special parmesan thing so we're getting a Pam's Parmesan Caesar and then we also got spicy pimento cheese Maybe we just asked for crackers and he got a handful and then I forgot to record our chicken salad So we kind of ate it all we got the chicken Caitlin the Pam's Parmesan and then the pimento cheese Oh for me we're at Wawa, so he wants the frozen drinks. We don't have a Wawa where we live, so anytime we see one, we get it. You're getting that one. Well, we gotta get something we haven't tried yet. Haven't tried yet before? I know we got We know what Oreo tastes like. like. Got I thought you wanted to get this one. The crumb. Then get that one. Yeah. Really. Cents difference. I don't know. You don't need that much though. We used to get paninis too, but we just had to get our chicks, so I'm too full to get a panini. <laughs> We're currently just trying to kill time because we can't get to our Airbnb until 2 o'clock and it's like 1.30 ish right now. We just got to our Airbnb and we're staying here for three days and two nights. And it's a three bedroom place, which I didn't realize, I forgot. Because I thought it was just two bedrooms, just for me and then Grace and Max and Jamie. When you first walk in, this is what you see. There's a TV and then here's the living room space. And then you can already see the kitchen from here and then over over here is where all the bedrooms are. So we've got a dining table, these cabinets. Here's the kitchen, stove, fridge. I'm gonna zoom it out. Here we go. And then back here is like the washer and dryer. And I'd say it's a pretty nice place. You go back, here's the living room. What'd you say, Grace? I keep knowing we're gonna see the different <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the first small bedroom. And then this is the second bedroom. Here is the first bathroom. I think this is only a two bath place. So it's a full size bathroom. And if you keep going, this is the master. This is the room that Jamie and I are probably gonna take because I need to edit a video tonight and I need the desk. So this is a pretty big bed. It's got two closets, both have mirrors. And then this is our master bath. And there's nothing over here. Like I thought there was gonna be a wall or a door or something, but it really is just a wall. And then there's just a monkey taking a bath right there. So yeah, overall, I'd say it's a pretty good Airbnb and let's just see how we feel sleeping here for the next two nights. Jamie, huh? demonstrate the bed. Is it squishy? It's kind of like stiff feeling and it makes a lot of noise, but Jamie and I are pretty deep sleepers, I'd say. So I think we'll be okay. It's two o'clock right now and we're kind of just gonna rest and I'm getting tired now that I've eaten my lunch. And then later we have a ghost tour in downtown St. Augustine. And so we're gonna walk around there and do that. I don't think that's until 7.30, so it's gonna be a bit. Oh, we just finished parking. We're in downtown St. Augustine and I'm actually really bad at driving, we've learned because I don't know when it's one-way street and um, oh, we're walking here. And now we're kind of just exploring the area. It cost us like $15 to park at a school. Jamie, how do you feel being here? Is this what you thought it would look like? No, because there's a lot of people walking. Because it's, it's a walking area. It's downtown St. Augustine. So right now we're just trying to find dinner and then we're gonna go do a ghost tour. It's called a ghost encounter later at 7.30. Usually I don't post. Vietnam, we did a king's tomb, and now Jamie's saying this is what it looks like. Because, no, it was Imperial City. Yeah. We went to Imperial City. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice day outside, and the water looks nice, the sky looks great, and we can see the drawbridge from here. telling us to touch these instead of the walls to preserve the walls and it's just concrete and stone. Jamie thinks this is the actual shell so that it says El oh, Coquina. No, then what are these? Oh plaster. it says this is plaster. Then what's this middle, middle one? Know. Straight up concrete. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people just chilling and walking around and relaxing by the water. It is very relaxing. It's very quiet too. And there's a bunch of cannons just set up. 
off right there. I think tomorrow when we do the Colonial Tour, we're actually gonna see a cannon go off, which will be kind of exciting. We're just walking around the Castillo right now. Look, they really are seashells. Look at them. Oh, hold on, you can't focus. Up there. Yeah, see, look. This is the wall. It's all made of seashells. That's cool. There's a big one up there, too. Where? Oh, yeah. So it's like a giant oven, and they light up the cannonball so that way they can shoot it at warship. Yes, yeah, it set it on fire. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> Side. We got the two meat combo. We got beef brisket. I don't know which one it is. Is it oh, yeah. this one? Oh, that yeah. one? Beef brisket. And then we got the North Carolina pork with a side of mac and cheese, sweet potato mash. And I don't know what that is. Like What's that hot, sauce? Hot coleslaw, probably. It's like a hot. I can tell you right now. Like hot, sauce and hot sauce and coleslaw mixed together. Okay. We're about to do a ghostly encounter. Here, Jamie, let me put your sticker on. Hold this. Or would you like it? You want it right there? Yeah. Right there? Okay. I don't know where to put mine. Give me my sticker. What if I just put it on my skin? <laughs> no, it's very good way. I'm gonna pull it off. So here? Yeah. Okay, there we go. This is the tour that we're doing. I can't zoom in with the front camera. There it is, and this is where we're going. We are on 14th, 14th St. John Street is where it is, and it was $25 per person. We're at Wawa again, and Grace is getting some late night snacks. Jamie and I- Oh, okay. <laughs> Jamie and I got a strawberry mango. Yeah, we got a strawberry mango drink. Okay, we're gonna taste test it. Jamie said it's kind of sour because it's strawberry and mango. He wanted a strawberry and dragon fruit, but I thought that was gonna be sour anyway. Mmm, what are you talking about? It tastes like the strawberry smoothies you get from like Wind Creek. It's good. He thinks okay. it's too sour, but it literally tastes like the same thing we get at Wind Creek. Did you get it again? You got a quesadilla? Um, no, I got a, I honestly got the same thing I got this morning. It's like a junior oh. hoagie roll, apple <laughs> sauce, and water. Well, she got a little kids meal box, which she did not get this morning, so I don't know what happened this time. This morning was some other kind of deal. Mm. So it's a couple of hours later. It's much, much later. It's actually past midnight now in St. Augustine. So our natural time, it's only, I think, 1140 right now. So it's actually 1240 in St. Augustine. I just finished editing the video that's supposed to go up like this morning and the next morning. So it's supposed to get uploaded in like eight hours. But pretty much let me talk about what happened at the ghost encounter because it was actually kind of fun i liked it i liked the stories he told i like how he told them and it really did take the full 90 minutes that they advertised and i think he told us about seven stories visited a cemetery i forgot what it was called i have to look it up but went to go see this little tombstone in that cemetery and it was like in the front by itself and it's a small tombstone compared to the other one and i think he was only five years old when he passed away and the next story was we went to this bed and breakfast place it's called casa de sueños and pretty much the place used to be a funeral home where they put the bodies in coffins and they would preserve it except to advertise them preserving the bodies at the funeral home they display the bodies in the coffins in the windows of this building so that way people could visually see how long they were preserved for which is kind of creepy and then he also showed us the love tree it's actually right outside of this cheesecake cafe shop where it was a young couple that planted two seeds the man planted one seed and the woman planted another seed and over time it just like grew together like they were separate trees but like their seeds they grew together and as they were growing the man's tree actually started wrapping around the woman's oak tree that she planted and so now when you look at the tree there's two like it's like one big tree but once you actually look at it you can see that it's a big stalk the man's tree and then the woman's tree is like wrapped in the tree i think i took a video of it so hopefully i put that clipped in 
um my tour guide said that if you like kiss under the ark or whatever under the tree like you're destined to stay together forever or something and so we took a picture with it we took a picture with the tree. I made sure to ask tour guide to take a picture with the tree. We did it and Grace and Max did it and I thought it was a really cute story. It was a sad story, but it was cute because their trees grew together. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day and we're currently at Ross. I was gonna go to Ulta to get something, but they're closed. And now we're at Ross and Grace went to Aldi's because she has a headache and she needs some medication. Today, we are going to explore St. Augustine, do some tours, go to Castillo, Pirate Museum, probably the Colonial Tour also. We're back in downtown and we're about to go to Castillo de San Marco, I think is what it's called. And then we're gonna go to Ripley's, believe it or not. And then we're gonna go to the Pirate Museum, which I'm kind of really excited about because it looked cool in there. And then we're probably gonna get tacos for lunch. So this is what I'm wearing. I have black shorts, or green shirt, and Jamie's wearing his green. Today is actually St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it is. Jamie, look how good it looks in the camera. Today was a prettier day than yesterday. Really? So our tickets are good for seven days, so we could always come back. I don't think we will, though. <laughs> and you can see the cannons up there. We're inside the fort, and this is what it looks like. It's just a big box. And I think we're going to go around and go into, like, every single room. Our first stop is the title toilets. <laughs> Ew. They really do just dig a hole and go. So the tides washed the waste away. <laughs> this is proof that we were here, Jamie. Oh, yes. I think Grace went straight to the dome. There's a dome at the top. I don't know if you saw it from the clip yesterday, but Grace wants to go in it, and that's where all the pigeons were sitting. Oh, you can see Blackwood College from here. Where should we take a photo? <laughs> it's just right away from you. <laughs> There's Flagler over there. I think I'm gonna take Jamie in there just to look at the lobby at least. We can look at the ceiling and the flooring detail. And then later we're gonna go over the beach and we're gonna go over the drawbridge to get to the beach. All the way over there. And then you can see the lighthouse also. It's so dark in here. Yeah. So, an old fashioned crane. Probably looked at heavy. Probably looked at heavy stuff. So these are my living quarters. I sleep here. I eat all those fruits and vegetables. This is how I stay warm. I just fill it up with some fire and coal and stuff. And all that wood, I use that to build my lovely non-existent bed. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. I'm looking at it. It looks like this could fall on us. Look how frail it looks, even though it's so strong. Yeah. Also, you can still see the shell details in the walls. Like over here, this is the shells, which is pretty cool. Like, dip aren't really history people we kind of just like looking at buildings and going to places that are touristy and popular but i think we don't know how to appreciate history so we're kind of just walking around now this place makes more sense for living quarters <laughs> and not the room that i just went to Um, just an empty room. You gonna come in? <laughs> just an empty room. I don't know. This is experience, I guess. Here's another room where they would sleep. I'm very tempted to get on this and sit on it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna break it and they're gonna get really mad at me. Also, my allergies have been acting up so bad. I've been sleeping, I've been blowing my nose and toilet paper. I don't know what's wrong because of how old this place is. <laughs> this is where they put their men in jail. Just one person or more than one? I don't know. It could be more than one person. You think they just put a whole bunch of criminals in one room? Jamie got a little cannon for his desk. It's very small. It was nine dollars, and then and then we also got this little pin to add to our corkboard pin wall, mm -hmm. and this was seven dollars. So we paid about seventeen dollars for everything. The tax. And there was also a St. John's County tax. But it was only eight cents, so it was fine. Now we don't know where Grace is in Max, so we have to find them. Post, JB. No. <laughs> Wait. This is it? This is the view behind me right now. It's a very good day when we left. It was actually really gloomy and I thought it was gonna be gloomy all day. So now it's so bright that Jamie and I are squinting. We also don't know where Grace and Max are still. So we're gonna get four tacos. We get this one. This one, we got two of these ones, and then we got one of these. Because I'm not going to remember the name when we actually get the food. 
Yeah, this looks kind of good. I'm glad we got two of these. That looks refreshing. And then we got like a corn appetizer. Right? It's just the corn tea is warm. We went ahead and got the fish one and the fajitas, and so we pretty much tried every single street taco on the menu. Fresh fish pan seared to perfection. <laughs> this taco place is really good. You have to try it. Grace found it. We're about to go to Ripley's, believe it or not, because we've only ever been to the Upside Down Ship in Panama City. Okay, we're in. Now we're gonna walk around and explore the museum. It looks like a coin, Jamie. Look, it's Harry Potter. That's cool, and you've got the Dudley Hollows over there. Dudley Hollows. This is it. Don't break it. We're next to a mannequin that the world's tallest person is eight feet, five and a half. Wait, where am I at? Five, three? In both 1926 and 1929, this guy's eight feet, 11. It is both seven like three inches, it towers over other kids. Oh man. <laughs> You're just shy of six. Defunct it? The human flag. Mine's connected to my face right now. Well, I just have to crush my body and then get in, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're in. Yeah, you're in. Okay. This lady would wear women's starting by punishing here and straight No, you're not. Oh, yeah, you kind of are. Yeah, you're in. Ripley's believe it or not and now we're in the pirate museum and this is our treasure map where we have to find stickers and get treasure coins at the end but it's just a coin so I don't care about it. And then this is inside the museum. Oh, I guess so. Do you want to go take a sniff? It says take a sniff. What type of cargo? What is it? Is it smelling like anything? Perfume. Yeah, that's what I'll get you too. That almost looks like baby powder. Oh! Okay, another one. Sales? You don't have to record this, you can just do that. At least it warns you with the lights. There's that at least. Christian didn't do it. I think I have to do it like flat. It's a magnet. Why is it sizzling? <laughs> okay. See, here's the side of the boat, the pirate wheel, and then like the deck up there. And him. <laughs> we just finished the pirate museum and we did the treasure map, but I did it wrong towards the end because you're supposed to find all 12 treasures and I only found 11, no, like 10. Because the drawer had three in there and I thought they were all separate, but it wasn't. And so, but he let it slide and he gave us coins anyway. So one for me and one for Jamie and they had a bunch of different colors in there. So I got my two. But that was cool, I guess. It was kind of gruesome because there was that one where the mannequin guy was getting his eyes uh, punctured out and dropped a coin. And then there's also like a head hanging from rope 
There's also hanging things, torture devices. Uh, what else did we see? A lot of guns and swords. Lots of guns and swords. <laughs> and then the very last room we saw, it was saying like fact versus fiction. And so it showed like the Pirates of the Caribbean and Peter Pan and how it's just fiction based pirate stories. Max and Jamie want to go in this manly toys and hobby store. <laughs> Okay. Yes, uh, Looks pretty good. That is enough. Yeah, that's a regular, right? Yeah. We got ice cream at Lick It. Strange name. Other, we're over here eating. That's the place. You tried it already? No. Oh. Mm. I think we got the same thing. Yeah. Mm. I got pineapple. Good. What do you think? You gave me pineapple first and the vanilla. I told her to put pineapple on the bottom so we could get more pineapple and also because I want to get rid of the vanilla flavor. A lot of people here celebrating St. Patrick's Day, obviously because it's St. Patrick's Day. So it's really cool that everyone's wearing like the bright green color. I'm in my olive green, but Jamie's matching the vibe of St. Patrick's Day because it's actually bright enough. Everyone's like drinking. Oh, Jamie! Wait, you might want to look that side. Oh, and they're all at the bars drinking eating like every single restaurant is pretty much full and there's a wait for every place so we gotta get dinner soon it's about almost five o'clock 4 30 ish five o'clock we gotta find dinner we're at a distillery right now and i'm gonna try a little bit of alcohol hopefully i don't get any rashes or have any kind of bad reaction i also can't share my drink with jamie i just dump it so i'm gonna take one sip and dump i'm gonna have my own drink so i don't need to be drinking twice yeah this is a free tasting that we're trying anyway so i think we're gonna be okay and she knows that i don't drink a lot this is gonna give me tiny samples hopefully I don't know where you wipe down those bars because it's 60 proof or so, it's lower than your typical whiskey, so you're definitely going to notice that they don't have as big of a bite to it. But I'll start you off with breakfast of champions, smoked maple whiskey, real Canadian. Oh, more for later if you really like it. You wouldn't be the first and you wouldn't be the last. <laughs> I won't. No, I won't do that. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. You ready? Buy a taster. Chaser. Oh, it's chaser. I was like, no, it's free. Yeah, go for it. Maybe yeah, for sure. <laughs> kind of good. Your chaser is like this. Is, it like yes, exactly. I love it. I love it. It kind of tastes like medicine. Tastes like medicine is a little bit. Medicine. Yeah. To the distillery, free tasting, and I survived. There were like three of them that I liked. We tried four whiskeys, one rum, and five moonshine. Five whiskeys. It was five whiskeys. Five whiskeys, one rum. No, because we only had ten total. So that'd be four whiskey, one rum, and five moonshine. Or five whiskey, one rum, and four moonshine. Something like that. And they were like all different flavors. There was salted caramel. There was um, peanut butter, chocolate. I think the rum was just plain, but I didn't have the rum because last time I had rum and I had all those little rashes. It was coconut. Yeah. Um, it was good for coconut stuff. There was also peach. We're trying to find the bathroom for Grace because she's got to go. Oh no. Let's hope that in an hour I don't get red and rashed up. Hey Jamie, show the chocolates. Feed them out. Okay, so this one is orange. This one is, what'd you get? Toffee. Yeah. Toffee, this one's raspberry. This one's mint. What is this one? Key lime, that one's key lime. Yeah, and it was 42 cents per chocolate, so it was like 224 for all of them. Oh, why is it really open? Really good mm. What's those dark chocolate? Dark chocolate and orange? Did you get that in Belgium one time or something? Yeah. I think so. Currently walking around because we got we made a reservation at Kitchen. The Prohibition Kitchen, and we have to wait an hour, so we're literally just exploring. And Grace wants to walk around with some beer, so we have to find it. So we're at a beer bar right now, and they have all these faucets where you can just scan your card, and it will charge you the amount of beer that you pour. And so Grace just got a little bit of beer for like eighty cents, and on the card it adds up all the beer for you. So she's trying to hold bunch already, and this is the card that she's getting. Do you like it? Then get something you like! <laughs> That's her total so far. And then she just pours a little bit. 
And it tells her how much she owes for that portion. <laughs> Good job, Grace. Good demonstration. It's hot. It's hot? It's fresh. Hopefully. <laughs> it's really loud here. We're at the prohibition. What? Prohibition Kitchen. So we ordered the PK Signature Burger and the PK Poutine. Look at that. I'll just have to show you when it gets out because it's really loud in here with the live music. Here's our burger, our fries, there's Grace's wings, and there's Max's burger. <laughs> I didn't have you in it, but I can put you in it. Then here's our bowl of chili. Today is March 18th, our last day here, and it is around 9.40, I believe. We're about to have some breakfast. We have to be out of our Airbnb by 10. And JV just finished breakfast. That's why he's in here now. This is what I'm wearing today. I don't know if this is going to be a comfortable driving outfit, but I'm going to try it because it's the last thing I brought. I do have a dress, but I don't feel like wearing a dress today. So today, we're probably going to go to the beach. We're just going to chill, and then we're going to get some lunch and then drive home. And that's pretty much it. So this is our breakfast. Here we made alcohol toast with salt pepper on top. And our Airbnb guy is going to be here at 10 o'clock. It's 9.52 right now because he has to get ready for the next people because they're coming today too. And this is our leftovers from last night. Jamie, I think you just have to take the lemon flow and yep. we're just gonna eat in the car. Yeah, I know. Okay. There's Flagler College and it's so pretty. I forgot how pretty it was. Wow. And then there are my friends just walking. Right now we are walking in downtown again. It's sprinkling a little bit. So we have our umbrellas and there's Flagler College. Jamie, you don't think it's pretty? Right there, over there. That's the school. What is this man? That's the museum. That's the school. That's where we did a tour and we got, went inside and saw like the lobby and stuff. Yeah. You really don't want to go in and look at it? No. You want to go in? I think we should go in so Jamie can see. And then this is the Leitner Museum. The what? Oh, there is a tour at like 10, I think. It was 10 or 1.30, so we missed this one. We're here again. Jamie, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's pretty? There's something like this at DC, right? I don't know if it's in DC. Oh man, look how dirty my legs are. Ew. I think we're gonna go home now because it's raining pretty bad. See, look. <laughs> oh, this is the um, mini golf right over here. So that's why there was like little Ripley's. Um... That's kind of far from Ripley's though. I know, that's why they have little trolley train thing. Our last stop is the Bronx Pizza Place. I think it's what it's called. Mm -hmm. This is, Jamie, I don't know what these are called. Popeyes. Should we make a And yours is the butcher. That's what it was. Butcher shop. Then what'd you get, Grace? This is a chicken bacon ranch, and then this is Big Al. And then you got chicken bacon ranch. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of chicken. And then we had a leave a review to get a free cannoli, <laughs> but I'm still waiting for Jamie to do that. What? Well, you waiting for me to do it? You ready for the cannoli? Do you like those things? You think so? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. You're you're small. <laughs> Just a whipped cream. What makes a cannoli? The inside or the outside? I think the shape and the inside. The outside? So the crust. 